So learning probability can get a little complicated, but I'm gonna teach it to you in a very simple way so that you can take your AccuPlacer exam or whatever college entrance exam you're taking and feel confident when you see probability questions like this. So stay tuned to the end as well because I'm gonna give you an opportunity to, for one of you guys to earn a free tutoring session with me, a one hour session too. So I'm gonna go through some problems and at the very end, I'm gonna tell you how you can enter. So the, this is going to be, based on the information in this chart, we're gonna answer this first question that says, what is the probability of a student who voted yes to pizza also voted yes to ice cream? So it's kind of hard to read these types of charts when you're just looking at them. But the best way to do this is to remember that probability is represented as a fraction. The specific ask is on the top and the total is on the bottom. So if we look at this question carefully, it says, what is the probability of a student who voted yes to pizza? So out of all the students who voted yes to pizza. So before I go ahead and put any numbers in, I'm just gonna write the total or the bottom is gonna be the total number of students who voted yes to pizza. Now I'm writing this in because it can get a little confusing if I don't. So I would recommend on your piece of paper for you to write this in too. So on the bottom, we're gonna find the total number of people who voted yes to pizza. And then the specific ask is, out of that group of students, they also voted yes to ice cream. So the top or the specific ask is the number of students who voted yes to ice cream. So now we clearly know what number we're gonna put on the bottom and what number we're gonna put on the top. So let's figure out based on this chart, what we're gonna put where. So if we go back to the, to the total, that's what we're gonna look for in the chart the total number of students who voted yes to pizza. So if you start over here to the left side, there's a yes to pizza. So yes to pizza, I'm gonna use a different color so you can clearly see it. Yes to pizza is going to be in this row across. All the students who said yes to pizza, the total amount is 15. So on the bottom of our fraction, we are going to put 15. Now, out of the students who, to who voted yes to pizza, we're trying to find a specific number of students who said yes to ice cream. So now we're gonna look at the top. This is yes to ice cream and this is no to ice cream. So yes to ice cream would be five. So five would go on the top and 15 on the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and reduce the fraction. When we reduce fractions, we have to divide the top number and the bottom number by the greatest common factor. In this case, it would be five and we'd have five divided by five is equal to one, and 15 divided by five is three, so our answer is going to be one third. The probability of a student who voted yes to pizza and also voted yes to ice cream is one out of three, or 33%. Now, if you need help um, changing fractions to percentages, I'm gonna share the link to my AccuPlacer Arithmetic Workbook, where you will get extra experience and practice transferring fractions to percentages and percentages to fractions. All right, so we have three more problems that are just like this for us to continue to get stronger, to improve our skills. So I know some people will be satisfied with that answer, but just stick around so we can strengthen your skill so you'll feel 100% ready when you take your test. So we're gonna use the same chart, but a slightly different question. So it says, what is the probability of a student who voted no to pizza and no to ice cream? So again, on my piece of paper, I'm gonna write specific ask over total. Okay, so the total is out of all the students who voted no to pizza. So I'm gonna write that no to pizza. Okay, so that's gonna be total and the specific ask is for people who voted no to ice cream. No to ice cream. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the total no to pizza. So no to pizza is right here. So we're gonna look at this, this row going across. So the total of saying no to pizza was 20. So 20 total students said no to pizza. 
And then we're going to look for the specific ask. They also said no to ice cream. So this is yes to ice cream. This is no to ice cream. So no to ice cream would be five. So the top would be five and the bottom would be 20. We're going to go ahead and we're going to divide the top and bottom by the greatest common factor, which is five. Five divided by five is one. 20 divided by five is four. So one out of every four students who voted no to pizza also voted no to ice cream. This would be the probability. If they're asking for a fraction form or if they're asking for a percentage, it would be 25%. So let's go ahead and do another problem together. And again, if you're hanging with me, you're, you would wanna stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how you can earn, one of you can earn a free tutoring session with me for an entire hour and we can practice and study together for your upcoming placement test. Okay, so the next question, again, same chart, but we're learning how to use it in different ways because we know that these types of charts can be confusing. So what is the probability of a student who voted yes to ice cream also voted yes to pizza. So again, we're gonna write specific over total. Then we're gonna write, what is this question asking us for? The total number of students who voted yes to ice cream. So number of students who voted yes to ice cream, that's gonna be our total. And out of the students who voted yes to ice cream, the specific ask is how many voted yes to pizza. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look. So we were looking from this left side, but these don't start with the total, yes to ice cream. This starts with either yes or no to pizza. So that must mean we're not looking at the rows, but we're gonna start looking at the columns because ice cream is on the top. So this is yes to ice cream and this is no to ice cream. So we're looking for a total of students who said yes to ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna circle the column. Again, before we were circling the row because we were talking about yes or no to pizza as the total. But now we're talking about yes or no to ice cream as the total. So yes to ice cream, we circled the column and the total number of students who said yes to ice cream is gonna be 20. So we're gonna write 20 on the bottom. And now the specific ask is yes to pizza. So out of this column that we just circled, yes to pizza, is five, so five out of 20, and we're gonna divide it by the greatest common factor, and we're gonna have one over four. And that is going to be the probability. If we write one over four, that could be the answer, or if they ask for a percentage, one over four is equal to 25%. Okay, so now let's go ahead to our second to last problem. So this is the fourth example that we're gonna go over together but there's gonna be another problem after and that's gonna be associated with how you can win or one of you can win a free tutoring lesson with me. All right, so this is gonna be the final question that we go over together. What is the probability of a student who voted no to ice cream also voted no to pizza? So again, we write specific over the total the specific ask, well, let's start with the total ask, is who voted no to ice cream. So out of all the students who voted no to ice cream, and I can't spell for some reason, <laughs> pretend that that was ice cream. So no to ice cream also voted no to pizza. So the specific ask is no to pizza. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look again. We're looking at the columns because we're starting with no to ice cream, that's the total. So no to ice cream, we're gonna go ahead and circle this column because that's the column that said no to ice cream. And the total that has said no to ice cream is 15 on the bottom. And then it says also we're looking for no to pizza, that's the specific ask. So it'll be five, five out of 15 is, if you reduce that, divided by five, is equal to one over three. So the probability would be one over three or equal to 33.3333%. Again, if you need practice converting fractions to percentages or fractions to decimals to percentages or percentage to decimals to fractions, then go ahead and look in the um, description box from this video and you can go ahead and see my Accuplacer arithmetic workbook. And there's plenty of examples where you practice how to change fractions to decimals to percentages. And there are lots of other skills that you can practice for the Accuplacer arithmetic exam. 
Okay, so are you guys ready to figure out how you can win a free tutoring lesson with me? Okay, so this is going to be the question that I ask you. And it's going to be a two-part question. So the first, if you want to go ahead and screenshot it, you can screenshot it. But it's going to be the exact same graph that we've been using, the exact same chart that we've been using. The question is going to be, what is the probability of a student who says no to ice cream and no to pizza? So that's the first part of the answer or the first part of the question that I want you guys to answer. Then the second part of the question is I want you to tell me why is this answer different than the answer to question number two? So this is the second question that you have to answer. And so the way I'm going to do this is, again, let me just show you the whole thing. So if you want to screenshot the video, I want you to tell me what is the probability of this question happening. Then I want you to tell me why the answer is different than the answer to question number two. So this is going to have to cause you to go back to our question number two that we went over and compare the answers. And so the way that I want you guys to submit your answers is I want you to comment below of this video and I want you to tell me part A to your, your your first part of your answer and the second part of your answer. The student that I feel explains it the best is going to be the student who wins the free tutoring lesson. And I think I'm going to give this only two weeks because I want a lot of people to have an opportunity to see the video, but I also want to be able to give you guys a tutoring session in the time that you need it. So I'm going to give this two weeks. So if today is February the 8th, two weeks from now, let me pull up a calendar. Two weeks from now would be February 22nd. So on February 22nd on my channel, I will announce the person who will win the free tutoring lesson. So go ahead, solve this problem and give me the best answer that you can in the description below, in a comment section below, I mean. And then the best student who gives me the best, most clearest answer and who comments and I just really love how you've commented will be able to win that free tutoring lesson with me and I'll announce it February 22nd. Okay, you guys, I hope this video has helped you. I hope this video has encouraged you guys when you take your AccuPlacer exam to do well on your probability portion. It doesn't have to be so confusing. Just remember, specific over total. The, the total is going to be what you circle. We either circled the column or we circled the row. We found the total and then we found the specific that they were asking for and then we reduced the fraction and we were able to get our final probability. Uh, there are going to be more videos on probability specifically for the TSI exam as well. So if you have questions about that, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.